we will now discuss the exponential map. So let us take V a Banach space and A belong to LV that means A from V to V is a bounded linear operator or a continuous linear operator and then uh, say AN okay for all N equals 1, 2, 3 etc. So then we want to give a meaning to the infinite series sigma AN okay. So what do we mean by this? We mean that so this is said to be uh, is convergent if sigma n equals m to uh, 1 to capital N uh, a n equals say b n is Cauchy and hence convergent. Okay, so limit of b n as n tends to infinity the partial sums is equal to is defined as the sum of the infinite series n equals 1 to infinity a n. Now if norm a n is finite then this implies that this sequence of partial sums is Cauchy and therefore this implies that sigma a n is convergent. Okay. So, two examples, example 1. So, you have norm of A is strictly less than 1, then the series i plus sigma n equals 1 to infinity A power n is convergent. Okay. And in fact, it is equal to the sum is equal to i minus A inverse. This is called the Neumann series. The second example is the exponential series. This is for any A in L of V, you have that <coughs> uh, i plus sigma n equals 1 to infinity a power n by n factorial is convergent. Check. All you have to do is to show that sigma norm a n is convergent. Okay. And then we call the limit e. So, e power a is equal to i plus a plus a square by 2 factorial and so on a cube by 3 factorial and so on. So, this is called the exponential of a bounded linear operator. Okay. So, now we will let u naught belong to v okay. and you consider u t is equal to e power t a times u naught. Okay. So, for t positive. Okay, so, T a is also a bounded linear operator. So, you know what is e power T a, you can apply it to u naught and we want to look at this one. So, let us look at the limit of this e power T a u naught minus u naught by T. Okay. So, this is equal to sigma k equals 1 to infinity of T to the k minus 1 by k factorial a power k u naught and that is nothing but a of u naught plus sigma k equals 2 to infinity of t power k minus 1 by k factorial a power k u naught. Okay. So, now if you look at the term which is remaining there that is sigma k equals 2 to infinity t power k minus 1 by k factorial a power k u naught and take its norm that is less than or equal to sigma k equals 2 to infinity of mod t power k minus 1 by k factorial norm a power k norm u naught and that is less than or equal to mod t norm a square into sigma k equals 0 to infinity t power k by k factorial norm a power k. 
and this is nothing but an exponential series so this is finite it's an exponential series and therefore this goes to 0 as t goes to 0 and therefore e power t a u naught minus u naught by t goes to a u naught as t goes to 0. Now e power t plus s a it is easy to check that this is e power t uh, a into e power s a. In fact e power a plus b equals e power a e power b if a b commute this is important otherwise it is not true ok. So, T a and S a always commute and therefore there is no problem. So, they, this commutes and therefore you have this. So, this you just check just exactly as in the exponential series of a real variable ok. So, there is nothing really different and therefore you will have this you the same proof ok. So, now let us take u dash t is limit of h going to 0 u of t plus h minus u t divided by h. This is the usual definition even though it is in a value in a Banach space that is a derivative and therefore that is equal to limit h going to 0 u what is u of t plus h it is e power t plus h a u naught ok this is u of t plus h. So, e power t a can come out from and e, u power t is uh, u t is e power t a ok. So, this is equal to e power t a acting on e power h a u naught minus u naught by h and we know the limit of this we have just computed it and therefore, this is equal to e power t a of a u naught which is also equal to because a and e power t a can are easily seen to commute this is e power t a u naught which is a of u t. Therefore, if a belongs to L of v ok u t equals e power t a u naught satisfies d u t by d t equals a of u t and u of 0 is obviously u naught ok. So, it is a solution of this initial value problem ok. So, given an initial value problem in a Banach space of d u by d t equals a u t where a is a bounded linear operator then we can immediately write down the solution and this solution will be unique and this is nothing but u t equals e power t a times u naught. Now, many PDEs can be written in this form but with a unbounded ok. We will be able to write the heat equation, the wave equation and many such PDEs evolution equations in this form d u by d t equals a u and u 0 equals u at 0 equals u naught, but then a will be unbounded. So, we want to investigate when how to handle this situation and that is the where we introduce the generalization of this. So, if you write s of t uh, is equal to e power t a this is a family of operators for t positive ok t 0 equals uh, so s of 0 is identity and then s of t plus s equals s t times s s and you also have that e power t a uh, so s of t u goes to u as t goes to 0. Okay. So, these properties we will generalize to what is called a semi group or C0. So, it is a collection of bounded linear operators with some properties and that will be connected to uh, an unbounded operator and we will look at the solution of such differential equations with respect to this unbounded operator. So, that is what we plan to do next. Okay.